स्टेज एक्टिंग एंड स्क्रीन एक्टिंग आर दीज टू डिफरेंट क्राफ्ट आफ्टर डूइंग अ लॉट ऑफ स्टेज वर्क हाउ टू बी नेचुरल ऑन स्क्रीन इज वर्किंग विथ टेक्स्ट डीलिंग विथ टेक्स्ट सेम फॉर स्टेज एंड फॉर स्क्रीन वेलकम टू ऑफ बीट सर्किट एंड वेलकम टू आर फर्स्ट एपिसोड ऑफ डायलॉग डायलॉग बाय द वे इज अ सीरीज ऑफ कॉन्वर्जेशन दैट वी हैड ड्यूरिंग द लॉकडाउन ऑन इंस्टाग्राम लाइव ऑन वेरियस इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक्स विद सम ऑफ द बेस्ट पीपल इन इंडस्ट्री इन दिस एपिसोड वी आर टॉकिंग टू नमित दास हु इज एन अमेजिंग एक्टर बीट ऑन स्टेज और ऑन स्क्रीन स्क्रीन पर तो हम सब नहीं देखा है उनको बट आई हैव बीन फॉर्चुनेट इनफ टू वॉच एम ऑन स्टेज एज वेल एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस कॉन्वर्जेशन आई गॉट टू फिगर आउट और एट लीस्ट हैव सम अंडरस्टैंडिंग of the doubts that i had of working on stage and working on screen the differences between the two the similarities between the two aur mujhe bahut sare answers mile and i can guarantee bahut bada shabd bol raha hu but i trust myself and i trust this episode and this conversation i can guarantee in this conversation if not all the questions you will get answers to some of the questions that you have been trying to figure out when it comes to stage and screen and because dialogue was originally done on instagram live during the lockdown some questions in this conversation or some references made in this conversation can be according to that context so just a small disclaimer please keep that in mind so i'll request you all to watch this episode till the end and uh, yeah enjoy the conversation i'll see you on the other side lekin ek minute jaane se pehle please like daba do aur subscribe daba do i know this is the first video from offbeat circuit but isi mein jab humko aapka support dikhega to it'll really boost our confidence and our motivation to bring more stuff and more content to you so please do that and finally see you on the other side thank you so much namit for accepting to be here to do a session on stage versus screen means a lot The first question is after doing a lot of stage acting how to be not loud and be natural on screen uh i think uh, one of the most important things when you uh, one of the most important things to remember when you are on stage is the fact that the audience sees your body yeah. if you just see it from uh, the audience's perspective then what they are seeing is your body Okay. Right. And that's essentially the energy that you actually throwing out, audience. But right. in front of the camera, uh, you have to remember the the audience is actually seeing your heart, and hence right. you cannot sort of project your body. Uh, your you cannot project physically uh, to an. You can't communicate that much. until as the screen mm. demands demands it right right okay so when you when you keep that in mind then you start drawing the differences of how you need to project yourself when you are on stage and you also start projecting uh, how you have to be in front of the camera right because the camera sees your heart and the camera is also seeing your eyes you cannot lie you cannot lie with your body you have to live that moment like it's actually lived with uh, with your co-actor with your other characters when you're playing out the scene whereas on stage you have that you have that you have that space you really have that yeah. space where you can go out and project with your body and that is essentially what the difference is i think and that's how you can mark yourself to go loud or not very loud yeah correct okay at least uh, that's what i have, at least yeah, that's sure. what i have learned yeah 
Right. Okay. So, Navid, moving on to the next question. Do you believe that acting for the stage and acting for the camera are two different crafts? If not, does being proficient in one automatically mean you would more or less get the hang of the other? No. No. These two are completely different things. And uh, they require a completely different uh, set of skills uh, and a very different... Um, and you communicate differently because these are two completely different mediums altogether. Right? Yeah. So right. you have to, you have to adapt. Uh, you have to adapt uh, to to the medium that you are uh, uh, that you are performing in. Uh, because the stage is uh, is makes you free. It makes your ego grow because it's only the actor, right? Standing mm. on stage mm. and delivering whatever he's delivering. But the camera, I think, the stuff is more hidden. It's, it gets even more layered because you, the more you hide, the better it is, the more you're mm. closer to the real and in, mm. on stage, the more you tell, the more you project is the more you are present because it's a live medium at the end of the day, there is a live audience, which is watching you. So you need to be present. Whereas I Correct. feel that, you know, there is this very strange sort of a, in front of the camera, you need to hide and hmm. be, be sort of, you know, visible in ways that only the camera catches. Hmm. Right. And, and it's, it's sort of an indirect communication to your audiences. Okay. And so much hmm. is dependent upon the director and what the editing process is going to be and how you're going to look that after a point of time, you just forget, uh, how are you going to project yourself? How do you do that? So essentially the easiest thing is to be in the moment and be with the other character that, that you are performing with. Correct. So the thing that you mentioned about, you have to hide in front of the camera, hide when, when on screen, but show that camera catches you, uh, show only that much that camera catches you. So like, what do you do to do that? And how are you aware that, how are you aware that you're doing only that, that much and you're not doing more than that? How much is required for camera? It's, it's very, very simple. Uh, if, if, uh, if stage is this, mm. then camera is just this. Okay. Right. It's very, very simple. That's the, that is how you hide. That's okay. How you hide. For example, if I, I'm just giving a very, very basic example because you are okay. asking me that asking me to give like a live example. When you are in front of the camera, you would just look, that's it. And you just look, but on stage, you can bit, which is this, which is this slightly, you know? Right. So it's very, very important to, um, it's important to mark yourself where you are, you know? Correct. And hide, okay. hide what I, by, uh, by hiding, what I really meant is uh, that you need to, It's how we are in life, you know, like if, if I yeah. would meet you in person, there are many things mm. which I wouldn't say, right. And mm. I can't be forthright. I can't be, there are certain things which I would be hiding. There are certain things which I would just not say. There are certain things right. which I would just sort of communicate with the eyes. And that is very important in front of the camera. Right. Okay. That, that was really interesting. Uh, thank you. I'll, I'll pull in the next question. Yeah. Um, yes. What do you think about digital theater, especially now? And how can theater and digital space come together? Hmm. That's a tough one. That really <laughs> is a tough one. Uh, you need the production to be uh, fantastic. You really need to be. I have personally had my issues with, uh, with theater when it's recorded and it's, when it's shown to people. Right. Uh, I, I, I haven't had fun in watching those productions, but some of the productions that some of the BBC productions that I've watched are very good because they are recorded in a way that they keep the, the live energy of the piece alive. And you see the audience also at the same time. So it takes you like 10 to 15 minutes to get into the piece, but then you are actually in the piece and you're watching the play, but I think they're shot very nicely and they're really good. They are the, their budgets are very nice. For example, Hamilton, which is uh, which is being shown 
on uh, uh, on Hotstar right now, and they've bought the rights for it. It's uh, it's quite good. It's really quite good. Uh, it's fantastic. Also, the fantastic national theater national theater plays yeah. like they have been provided. Yeah. yeah. absolutely so it has to be recorded that way but some of the things that i have seen uh i i don't think they really work they really work and this theater and digital space needs to sort of um, i think the, there's a, there's a huge gap right now it sort of needs to come together and it will come together eventually especially because of the times that we are living in and especially uh, right now when when we don't have any theater we don't have any live performances and uh, right. i don't know how how people who are only doing theater uh, are going to manage you know uh, so there is there needs to be some live alternative although in the 60s and the 70s they had those tele plays okay tele play doordarshan had tele play some of the tele plays which i saw and it had some mm. fantastic actors and there were some fantastic one takes of uh, of people and it all looked like you know it was being played out in one room and yet you don't know whether this is a play or whether this is a short film or what is it exactly you can't place yourself yeah. but you're enjoying it uh, so it needs to have that human element to it uh, i Correct. i remember and, seeing this i remember seeing yeah, this please. fantastic uh, fantastic teleplay which was a play in urdu uh, and it was on ptv which i had seen actually uh and moi nakhtar was uh, it was about an old couple and moi okay. nakhtar was uh, was doing uh, uh, uh this the old man's role and i thoroughly enjoyed that piece because the performance was so good and you could see that they have actually shot it in one go and for that Sorry. for that matter even sitcoms are essentially plays which are shot in one go yeah my my uh, television show uh sumit samalega was shot like a sitcom so it was shot like a play but again we, we cheated because you know we didn't have a live audience and what happens in america is that there is a live audience for 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 a for a sitcom like friends or seinfeld or or any so you hear the laughter the laughter is the laughter but there is a lot of hard work which is which has gone into creating that atmosphere for the audience uh Correct. so not only is it funny for an audience which is sitting and watching this but also funny through the ages uh for the for the people who have watched this so i think this is the closest that we have sort of you know come uh, to recording performances and uh, it's it's a tough it's a tough gap but i think with money and the budgets and the audiences coming in i think we'll be able to uh shorten this yeah right and a lot of people are now experimenting also uh, with you know live plays and even instagram lives th- these guys are doing plays patchworks and ensembles did did few things you also were there in one of the episodes right so <laughs> cool so moving on to the next question um, what are some of the misconceptions you had about acting in front of the camera after stage or vice versa and what were the mistakes you made because of that and what has been your biggest learning in the process hmm very interesting uh i think some of the misconceptions that i had uh was that you have to be you have to be introvert in front of the camera okay i think this was your called, misconception yeah this was my misconception Uh, and okay. you have to just play it within yourself, and sort of you know just be bound, and not go mm. overboard. Uh, these were mm. the initial sort of you know, and what it actually did essentially to me was it really uh, it really bound me. That thought completely bound me because I was extremely careful about the fact that I shouldn't be loud. Mm. I shouldn't be. Uh, i shouldn't be overacting overacting yeah. because uh, theater actors tend to overact in front of camera in front of the camera yeah. but what i really restricted myself uh was the fact that i was really not living in the moment mm. because of that and i was i was coming in with a preconceived idea of how i should be in front of the camera okay and i i feel whether you are on stage or whether you are in front of the camera if the actor starts seeing himself from the outside hmm 
you immediately shut off because okay. you are you are performing and you are also being an audience to your performance and that mm. should not happen that really should not happen you can't be watching yourself while you are performing so mm. be it on stage or in front of the camera you have to be in that moment and you have to be completely committed to that moment that you are trying to create correct and the fact that you know i was coming with that preconceived notion of you know i should not be overacting i should be this guy who should be you know quiet and just yes. uh, just living the moment i already was seeing myself ha uh, and i was making I, sure I that you are doing that. that absolutely and i don't think i was mm. enjoying it with uh, the other actor who was acting mm. with me mm. right so that is very important this is something which i think i lost in some of my initial performances and the moment i started having fun i suddenly forgot that there was a camera i also Correct. when you are on stage the moment you start having fun and the moment you start you don't notice the audience that's hmm. the best that that a performer that's the best state that a performer can be in correct and that's when you know the other person also feels like oh this is so good this is so real this is this is what he is living at the moment and that makes it really uh, engaging it makes it entertaining you should basically come to a point where yeah. where the audience wants to come and come and just do things with you you know okay agar audience mein koi actor baitha hua hai to fir aisa hona chahiye ki yaar kaash main is time pe is, is actor ke sath khada hota काश मैं इस टाइम पे इस इस टाइम पे खड़ा होता और मैं कुछ कर रहा होता इसके साथ एंड इफ यू आर एबल टू डू दैट देन आई थिंक यू हैव अचीव्ड समथिंग इन योर परफॉर्मेंस राइट सो देन हाउ डिड यू ओवरकम दैट बट ये चीज की मैं को अपने अंदर ही अंदर करनी है एक्टिंग और आई डोंट हैव टू ओवर एक्ट सो आफ्टर द फर्स्ट फ्यू परफॉर्मेंस डिड पीपल टेल यू अबाउट दैट और यू रियलाइज दैट योर परफॉर्मेंस इज नॉट बीइंग एट पार विद व्हाट यू हैव थॉट और लाइक हाउ डिड यू ओवरकम I think I uh, I didn't tell anyone about this, uh, but I I realized it on my own that I'm not having fun. Okay. And I'm not going uh, with the other actor, whereas hmm. I'm trying to create a world on my own, and I'm expecting other people to enter that world. Whereas, right. let's do it together. Let's try ambience this world together, and let's have fun. right and that came at a later stage i think and that's something which i'm still trying to find where i can just be with the other person and and we can create it together right right thank you that was really insightful and i'm sure it will help a lot of actors out there and uh, then question is how different do you think is the process of working with your text as an actor in a screen versus on stage hmm uh i think uh, I think it's similar if you're doing a play which is very text heavy. Uh hmm. it's similar. Uh because uh, this was an argument which I have been uh having for a very long time, you know. Uh hmm. and uh, you know the, uh, like Atul and Rajat have been trying to find this uh, have have been trying to find a space where where theater and cinema basically meets okay hmm. where does hmm. camera and theater actually meet and in the hmm. recent years that my wife worked with nasir saab hmm. uh we came to a conclusion that it was it is not a conclusion i think it's still a journey we're still trying to find ourselves but i think i think the way into uh this uh this sort of a where i think Combine. the way into a place mm. yeah the way mm. to a place where cinema and theater i think meets has mm. to be governed by the text okay because the only thing that is common to stage and the camera is the text right you speak in uh, you speak on stage and you also speak in front of the camera correct so essentially if you ask me uh, what is your approach to text when you are on stage and what is your approach to text when you are in front of the camera i think it's a similar sort of an approach right i think it's okay. that's the that's probably the only sort of you know set of skills that you need to 
that you need to have uh, for Correct. both stage and uh, stage and camera in front of the camera it also develops into dubbing hmm. which is a skill that nobody talks about actually and nobody is right, taught right. Hmm. and today in the morning, my wife and i was saying that in all the acting schools uh, which focus on acting in front of the camera everyone is talking talking about you know character building everyone is talking about how to be but no one is actually talking about the skill of dubbing correct and the skill of dubbing also essentially comes from the skill of identifying a sur and the ide- mm. and identifying the sur comes from the knowledge of the text and correct. how the text is going to be and how you are going to speak uh, this language and how you are going to be and how you are going to have a conversation with um with your fellow actors Correct. in terms of stage i think it all depends upon the play so for example if you're doing a hamlet the clown prince which is a rajat kapoor production which is completely against the text so then there i think uh, there are other things that you are focusing on the text becomes secondary but it's still not the it's not it, 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 it's not thrown out completely because you have you have to keep shakespeare in mind right correct but if you do but if you're doing a play with nasir saab and if you are uh, reading a monologue which is which has been written by ismat chuttai or mantu mm. or any of the things that he has been uh, discovering for the last 15 20 years there is a lot of text text work that you need to do you need to know how you speak that language correct and you need to work on that right so these are the cool. little sort of differences and the similarities but i think there are more similarities in this case so sure. so uh, continuing to this question what is your first step towards designing a character and i would add to it is this also similar for both or do you follow something different for the two mediums hmm uh, for both the mediums i think it's very important that you learn the lines <laughs> right that is my first uh that's the first thing that i attack you need Correct. to learn your lines uh to a point that ke matlab aadmi 4 baje bhi uthke aapko agar puche scene karna shuru kar de to aapko wo line pata honi chahiye because kya hota hai na ke sare actors na bade wo na character work ke upar shuru kar dete hain kaam कि अच्छा इसका बैकग्राउंड क्या होगा ये बैकग्राउंड ये इन द बंदा जो है यूपी से आया है यूपी में इसके जो फादर हैं वो एक माली रहे हैं तो वो माली में जो उन्होंने जो एक रोज का फूल खिलाया था और उस रोज के फूल को एक दिन इसने जो खा लिया था और उसके वजह से इसके फादर ने जो थप्पड़ मारा उसे वो थप्पड़ है वो थप्पड़ की गूंज जो मुझे इस सीन में लेके आनी है करेक्ट यस यू कैन डू दैट you can do that mm. it's absolutely fine but eventually it is what you are going to say in the scene right mm. everyone mm. i think i think the basic problem with a lot of people on stage and with a lot of actors that i see is that they start feeling the character before they can be it actually mm. and how to be that person the first thing that you really see is the line hear me out yeah hear me out right yeah and you you listen to me correct. and the fact that i speak is the way i communicate and the way i communicate is what i feel the problem is that people are going into what i am feeling what i am feeling at this point of time i am feeling sad so i will feel sad this way it's not about the feeling it's about the way you speak actually the feeling Correct. will follow and hence whenever people say how do you attack a character i say i always learn the lines first you have to know your lines right and you can't be coming you can't be coming on set and improvising no please don't do that please don't do that even before hmm. understanding what what the writer has written the writer has written something please respect that please respect that from there onwards i think that then the differences start coming who hmm. are you acting with what is the situation you are in 
what is this character uh, going to be like what mm. is the language he is speaking okay he is a person say from lokhandwala mm. and he is born in 2005 and now he is 15 years old so he will have a particular kind of a language he will have a particular kind of a a lifestyle so these are similar sort of but but for example if it's an abstract play then it's a complete mm. abstract situation then you deal mm. with it very differently then you right. talk to your director then you because ev- eventually you know what people and i really want want and that's the probably the reason why i said yes to this session also i really want to tell all the actors uh who are listening to this that we are all communicators at the end of the day right and we need to sharpen our skills of communication and mm. rest everything will follow correct and uh, just to add on to this uh because you are trained in music also and uh, we remember uh, we came to watch stories in a song while i was in dsm along with my batch and the next day in the music class actually we were discussing with amot sir the riyas that you put in and the discipline that you have for singing and all that stuff so i wanted to ask because you also mentioned ki dialogue mein bhi ek sor hona chahiye usi se emotions pata chalenge and usi se feelings pata chalegi that has a huge potential for that so how your training in music has impacted it and how much do you owe it to that and does actors who are not that trained in music uh be a good actor to be very blunt uh no no me good or bad actor ya good or bad singing ke bare mein to janta nahi hu uh lekin main ha nahi nahi aap boli 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 aap boli nahi matlab main wohi kehna chahta tha ki matlab kya music ka samajh hona aur music ki training hona डेफिनेटली आपको अगर आप यहाँ इस स्तर की एक्टिंग करते हैं तो क्या वो डेफिनेटली आपको इस स्तर पे ले जाता है या इट्स नॉट ऑलवेज नेसेसरी नहीं म्यूजिक की नॉलेज अच्छी होती है इट्स ऑलवेज वेरी गुड टू बी इन ट्यून विद विद सम सॉर्ट ऑफ साउंड ओके एक बड़ी कारण जी ने बड़ी एक जबरदस्त चीज बोली थी और मुझे मेरे को एक्टर गोपाल तिवारी ने बताई और वो चीज ने ना कहीं ना कहीं मुझे एज ए म्यूजिशियन एंड एज एन एक्टर भी खोल दिया वो बड़ी सिंपल सी चीज बोलते तो उनसे पूछा जा उन, उनसे हमेशा जब भी पूछा जाता था कि एक्टिंग और सिंगिंग में फर्क क्या है तो वो कहते थे कि एक्टिंग जब भी करो तो ऐसा लगे गा रहे हो और म्यूजिक जब भी कर रहे हो तो ऐसा लगे कि कुछ कह रहे हो वाओ राइट या कुछ एक्टिंग कर रहे हो या कुछ यू you नो know, कुछ कहने की कोशिश कर रहे हो कुछ बयान कर रहे हो ये चीज ये बड़ी सिंपल सी चीज है लेकिन ये इसको आ, 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 अपने एक्ट में अपने ही आ, ये उतारना मतलब बहुत मुश्किल है इट्स वेरी 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 डिफिकल्ट करेक्ट ओके थैंक यू लाइन वॉज वेरी जो उन्होंने कहा था वो बहुत क्लोज था और इसी से सिमिलर हाँ इसी से सिमिलर ये भी सुना हुआ है कि जीवन ऐसे जियो जैसे नाटक हो और नाटक ऐसे करो जैसे जीवन हो इट वॉज वेरी सिमिलर टू इट्स वेरी वेरी सिमिलर टू दैट क्योंकि सुर की नॉलेज होना अच्छी बात है और मैं तो कहता हूँ कि हमेशा जो है ना जैसे जितने भी सारे एक्टर्स हैं एंड आई एम एक्चुअली टेकिंग दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन स्लाइटली आई एम मेकिंग इट वाइडर एंड आई एम सेम के जब भी एक्टर्स आते हैं तो वो बोलते हैं कि यार अच्छा एक्टर बनने के लिए हमें क्या करना चाहिए वॉट शुड बी डू I always say, be interested in life. आप इंक्विजिटिव रहिए आप आप न्यूज पढ़िए आप पढ़िए पढ़िए आप किताबें पढ़िए आप म्यूजिक सुनिए अलग अलग तरीके का आप गार्डनिंग कीजिए आप ट्रेवल कीजिए आप आप साइकिल चलाइए आप मतलब सनसेट देखने जाइए मतलब आप जितनी चीजें कर सकते हैं उतनी कीजिए आप जितना लाइफ को जित विच इज नेचर विच इज अराउंड यू आप अपने अंदर जितना जज करेंगे उतनी चीजें आपको जो है ना समझ में आएंगे आप कुकिंग कीजिए यार आप खाना पकाइए हर चीज जो है ना जो भी मोमेंट आप जी रहे हैं ना वो पूरी तरह से जिए 
इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू डू दैट यू नो बिकॉज लोग ना इन सब चीजों में बहुत फंस जाते हैं फंस जाते हैं फेम चक्कर ये वो जो कुछ भी है वेर इज एक्टिंग इज अबाउट रियली स्मॉल थिंग्स रियली रियली स्मॉल थिंग्स Right. It's about it's about being someone's son. It's about being hmm. someone's father. It it's it's knowing how you look. It's knowing Correct. what you want to wear and how you feel. Today I'm wearing this black black shirt. There is this, you know, there is this curtain behind, and there is this sense that I am here right now in this space with you. And I'm when I'm talking, it's it's being aware. and what brings right. awareness in you life life brings you aware brings you that awareness you know right thank you thank you that's that's really insightful thank you for extending the conversation right okay so uh, next question what do you learn from theater that you apply on screen and vice versa because theater to screen a lot of people say ki you know uh, you learn a lot from theater and it actually helps when you go to the screen but so please do answer this also if you have something very specific but then i am very much interested in interested in knowing what's that one thing or maybe more than one thing that you've learned from screen and that you apply in theater now and that helps you to improve your performance hmm i have personally i have never i have never seen a similarity between the two mediums it's very it's very strange i feel it's it's it, they they are totally different they are completely different uh, in nature uh, they are also uh, they also demand something very different for example hamare yahan pe theater abhi bhi puri tarah se industry nahi hai uh, at least right. the experimental circuit that we i understood theater only when i did 250 shows of a play okay and continuously uh, sorry not 250 i did uh, 95 shows of a play uh, when okay. i was uh, in berkeley and i was performing monsoon wedding the musical okay. and i did that continuously for 3 and a half months i was on stage every day the performing the same thing doing it again and again and again and again and it was only after 35 shows that i actually became totally comfortable with what i was doing right it really takes you that much time but the problem and the and that's that's what i keep stressing uh, the problem with this uh, with with the industry that we live is is that you know a play does not get that time to mature hmm. it doesn't hamare mix maximum 15 20 ya 25 shows hoke to khatam ho jate aur zyada opportunities bhi nahi hai usko itna perform karne ki aur jab perform hmm. karte bhi ho aap to matlab 2 2 3 3 mahine ke gap pe kar rahe ho to aap wapas aaye perform kar rahe ho wapas aa rahe ho so you are not actually going into it completely that right. is one of the things which but otherwise i feel that that these two mediums are completely different they are a different uh, they require a different set of skills different uh, ye dono duniya bhi bahut alag hain inko karne wale log bhi bahut alag hain soch bhi bahut alag hai aapki aapke dost yaar jinke sath aap aap ye kaam kar rahe hain wo bhi bahut alag tarah ki soch ke ho jate hain so i don't think you bring anything uh from each other or the, i do i don't think there's any sort of a transfer i really don't think okay. there, is, there is any any there's there's no transfer yeah okay so basically what matlab aap bolna cha rahe hain ki you start blank on both the mediums there is nothing that uh, you take from this to that or that to this no only probably okay. the fact that you know uh, words are important the text the text is the only thing mm. which really uh, comes to my mind which uh, which mm. sort of you know unites these two two mediums because if i'm doing a realistic mm. play i would be learning lines mm. but there again you know the rehearsal process is so different you know you live the whole play every day you're going through right. the lines again and again but in front of the camera it's totally different you might get the script 2 hours before And you hmm. have to live that reality. Then what Correct. do you do? So it's completely different, right? 
राइट ओके सो सॉरी 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 एक चीज ऐड करना चाहूंगा थिएटर हाँ. से जब मैं कैमरे की तरफ गया था थिएटर में आपको बहुत रिहर्सल मिल जाती है राइट right. कैमरे पे आपको रिहर्सल नहीं मिलती है एंड दैट्स द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट अ थिएटर एक्टर फेसेस फिर यार रिहर्सल तो हो ही नहीं रही है <laughs> और मैं मैंने तो अभी तक तो पूरी तरह से रिहर्सल ही नहीं किया ना तो हम लोग कैसे करेंगे यार कैसे होगा वट एवर यू नो आई वॉन्ट टू गिट दफेक्ट टेक यू नो एंड द डायरेक्टर सिंग नहीं यार स्पॉन्टेनिटी में निकल जाएगा निकल जाएगा डोंट वरी एंड वो नहीं होता hmm. था पहले बट धीरे धीरे आई जस्ट लेट गो ऑफ थिंग्स आई जस्ट लेट गो एंड देन आई रियलाइज दैट ओ ही इज एक्चुअली कैप्चरिंग मी इन मोमेंट्स वेन आई एम एक्चुअली नॉट थिंकिंग एंड देन पुटिंग माई फेस ऑन इन दी एडिट इन अ पर्टिकुलर वे विच मेक्स मी लुक अ पर्टिकुलर काइंड ऑफ अ पर्सन सो वॉट डिड आई डू एक्चुअली हियर नथिंग आई जस्ट वॉज माई सेल्फ राइट 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 इंटरेस्टिंग दैट्स रियली इंटरेस्टिंग Okay, so yeah, that's what I want. I wanted to ask someone. Sent a similar question. So the question is: Once you are in stage, you are in stage, and there is a certain energy and feeling that takes over, which helps build for greater highs and lows. Uh, but then, how do you create such moments of continuity and building tension or feeling in front of the camera, especially between the takes? Initially, क्या होता है ना बहुत सही. This is a very interesting conversation. Initially, क्या होता है कि मैं क्या face करता था कि मेरा जो पहला टेक होता था वो hmm. बहुत अच्छा होता था ठीक है और फिर hmm. वहां से जो है ना एनर्जी गिरनी शुरू हो जाती थी क्योंकि मैं क्योंकि मैं अपनी पूरी लाइनें वाइने करके आया हूँ और फिर उसके बाद जो है मैं अपनी पहले टेक में मैंने अपनी पूरी एनर्जी दे दी एंड डायरेक्टर ने आके कहा पाओ फैंटेस्टिक यू आर सो गुड अब इसका क्लोजअप लगाते हैं ठीक है ना मैं क्लोजअप लगाते अब क्लोजअप में वो एनर्जी नहीं आ रही है वो पाती नहीं बन रही अब आप क्या करोगे यार अब आप उसको रिक्रीट नहीं कर पा रहे हो अब आप बोल रहे हो कि यार एक पल तो तुम मुझे बोल रहे थे मैं इतना अच्छा एक्टर हूँ दूसरे पल जो है तुम मेरी जो है ना मतलब मेरी जी लगा रहे हो ऐसे यू नो और तो तो मैं करूं क्या बट दैट इज एसेंशियली द स्किल ऑफ डूइंग इट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द कैमरा दैट यू हैव द होल स्टोरी एंड देन दे यू हैव दिस वन मोमेंट विच इज प्लेइंग विच यू आर प्लेइंग आउट in a sort of real situation because the set is such whatever and you have been allotted 2 or 3 hours to do this hmm and the camera which is the audience which is watching you is going to capture this moment in different ways now right. as an actor it is my skill to develop a skills here that i keep doing the same thing in the same intensity and sometimes in mm. fact you know get better get better mm. as the takes are going i am getting better right and that's where you know i come back to what i said earlier the hiding it's mm. better to sort of you know just conserve your energy at that point of time and not give everything Hmm. and just let sort of just let the sense of of what is happening around you come to you have patience Correct. you need to have a lot of patience in front of the camera hmm. and let the other person let the director wait for you hmm right don't be in a hurry do okay. not be in a hurry right because it is Thank going you. to because it is because it is going to take 3 hours to shoot this scene and the director right. is going to take 7 or 8 or 9 or 10 shots of you and each shot mm. will have probably 10 takes mm mm and you are going to do it again and again and again and again and again and again until you have completely exhausted yourself correct right thank you i'll pull in another question this is a lot to absorb right now so without saying anything uh so yeah so similar questions see uh, we are talking and i'm finding similar questions to what we just spoke so this question is do retakes help in improving the shot theater actors in movies need it or not <laughs> uh, it, it all depends upon how the actors how actors function there are there are some people like like me now at this stage i take my time i don't give in everything mm. 
i really want to like you know understand more and more of what i can do with this scene and how many times can i have mm. this conversation and how many times can i drive my motive uh, in this scene correct and in how many different ways can i do that because the writer has written that much but uh let's see how many in how many ways i can say it correct and how correct. many ways i can convince the the other person you know correct so at this stage i think i i i think i get better with with the takes but there are some certain people who are just very good uh the first go itself and then they sort of start evaporating then they sort of you know start becoming lesser and lesser uh so you have to find your own rhythm about it i think and every day is but then every day is different yeah. या बट देन जैसे आपने बोला कि आप इंटेंशनली थोड़ा सा कंट्रोल करते हैं विद एवरी टेक यू वांट टू एक्सप्लोर न्यू थिंग्स सो बट देन बट देन हमेशा ऐसा तो नहीं होता होगा ना कि इस इसके दस टेक होंगे ही होंगे देर माइट बी सिचुएशन यू टू टाइम क्रंच और सम अदर रीजन दैट यू हैव ओनली टू टेक्स टू गिव दिस शॉर्ट करेक्ट सो देन तो यू विल हैव टू गिव एवरी इन दो टू टेक्स बिल्कुल बिल्कुल एंड इनफैक्ट दैट बिकम्स दैट्स अ डाई हार्ड सिचुएशन फिर तो मतलब आप आप अगर कहोगे डायरेक्टर को कि यार मैं एक्चुअली ना लाइट जा रही है लेकिन मैं लूंगा अपना मैं तीन घंटे लूंगा जरूर वो आपके थप्पड़ मारेगा जी बोलेगा यार क्या कर रहा है यार तू मेरा मतलब शॉर्ट खराब कर देगा पटे तो दैट्स नॉट द पॉइंट वो दो सिचुएशन ऑब्वियसली वेर यू हैव टू अडेप्ट अडेप्ट और एक और चीज इसी पे मुझे पूछनी थी व्हाट इफ डायरेक्टर इज एक्सपेक्टिंग यू टू बी द लाइक द बेस्ट इन द फर्स्ट फ्यू शॉट्स वेयर इज यू नो दैट यू आर प्लानिंग टू गिव इट यू आर यू नो दैट यू आर प्लानिंग टू इंप्रूव विद एवरी शॉट बट व्हाट इफ समवन फ्रॉम द आउटसाइड इज एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगिन फ्रॉम द वेरी फर्स्ट शॉट सो देन यू नो दैट यू हैड यू हैव दैट इन यू बट व्हेन ही सीज यू डूइंग लेस दैट विल हैव अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ इंपैक्ट राइट सो हाउ डू यू वर्क अराउंड दैट जस्ट अ क्वेश्चन व्हिच केम टू मी राइट नाउ that you, then you have to be good in the first take you are with a tough director <laughs> okay so not all directors are like that they do expect that 6 7 takes to honge hi honge there there are different kinds of people for example uh, i have worked with a piyush ragani and i'm taking his name actually piyush ragani is mm-hmm. this ad guy this fantastic uh, advertisement director uh, and uh, and he's directed some short films and he's all i'm sure he'll be directing his film also uh he believes in the first take right i've worked i've worked with him on some films and he believes in the first take that's it there's only one take that he takes uh there's this director that i worked with in the south he believed in one take that's it so i was mm-hmm. very very i was very careful with such people that i need to know my material i also need to rehearse with my co-actor in such a particular way that that there's only one take and the first take i give in everything right i don't think i okay. have that space with this director because he believes that he wants to drive the actor and the nervous energy that he has during one take yeah. i think he he will get the best in it okay, okay. so i go in with that then but sure. then there are directors like uh, mira nayar Hmm. They will take so many takes. They will come up to you and say, "Okay, now change look. Just change the way you are looking at this scene. Actually, wow. Just okay. change it completely. So you, the three takes that you have given me, uh, you have uh, said it this way, and this is what you actually mean. But now, actually, you know what? Coming from the other door only. Suppose hmm. you were in the house only. You were not. Cu- you know, you sit down. you sit and do this scene now you have not entered mm. only let me just think that you have not entered so that's a very drastic sort of a step that you are taking and yeah. then there are directors like ram madhavani mm. who will say ke namit this is what i have written don't say this <laughs> okay uh make it your own mm. improvise kar अब तुम्हें मैटर पता है तुमको पता है कि इस सीन में तुम्हें क्या करना है ठीक है तुम खुद ही करो अपना अब कुछ करो और मैं कट नहीं बोलूंगा 
मेरे तीन कैमरा जो है वो थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री कवरेज लेते रहेंगे और तुम करते रहो राइट तुम करते रहो तुम करते रहो सो देर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स एंड दैट्स वाई यू है ओके थैंक यू दैट्स इंटरेस्टिंग टेक लास्ट टू क्वेश्चन मे बी बिकॉज I don't want the chat to end It's abruptly very because chat. Time. Yeah, this is a very Thank very you. interesting chat. Yeah, this is a very interesting chat, chat, Piraj. And I would, in fact, you know, if 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 this really goes well, uh, I would love to sort of do a part two. I don't know. Yeah, I would really. Yes, yes. Yeah. If people are interested, if people are interested in. Yeah, sure. Because a lot of my. Yeah, yeah. Because a lot of my followers are actors, and I'm I'm sure like. because i am a part of bombay and i do theater there i know that they are interested in learning these kind of stuff and that's the whole reason i i you know curate this stuff so we will do yeah. definitely thank you for saying that but uh, i'll pull in few questions the last few questions okay so this is something which i also face and a lot of my friends also face so way too conscious in front of camera how to work on that so basically i also wrote, i also wrote this uh, so you know uh, because because i have also been doing theater for a long time now beginning from the college days and so now i tend to be less conscious on stage and i maybe i've got a hack of it to a certain extent but then as soon as i uh, step into the audition room even for the audition for a small 10 20 minutes audition and i'm not able to deliver single line i my hands are shaking my legs are shaking i know so how do you get that grounding and how to be confident in front of the camera as a, yes yes i yeah it's <laughs> tough uh, dheeraj it is tough and uh, and i and i completely uh, empathize with actors uh, and this uncomfortable process of auditioning i completely hmm. empathize with all actors not all actors are good uh, Uh, in auditions let me tell you hmm. so first hmm. of all that should relax you okay the biggest of actors the biggest of actors let me tell you if you take the screen test sometimes they are god awful okay hmm. they god awful hmm. it's not like you know hmm. everyone is fantastic in that process you know because it's a very very uh, i understand it's it's a claustrophobic situation yeah because and you are also under that, that pressure yeah that you have to you know somehow get this opportunity and all that sir yeah yeah you are in so you have to completely be sensitive to an artist at that point of time and not everybody is sensitive unfortunately not everybody yeah. you not everybody not all the rooms that you will be entering during an audition will have mm. a safe and a kind vibe for you Uh, right it it is very tough it is very tough but having said that that is the only process by which you can really showcase yourself so so what i have actually what i actually used to do initially like really really initially when i uh, uh when i got a television show okay hmm. was i used about, to always pancham <laughs> Ha pancham yeah i'm talking about my first television show and uh, the first thing that i used to do was keep the camera on and sleep in front of it okay and just keep it on just keep the just be uh, in tune with this thing which is watching you constantly and record yourself mm. and record yourself record yourself doing simple things like just sitting chatting and just just keeping the camera on and nowadays it's very easy to at us time pe the phones bhi nahi the yaar mobile phones nahi the us time pe i had that v- vcr that that the handy cam i had that handy cam so i used to have that handy cam with me all the time and i used to be recording other people and i used to all, also be recording myself i used to be talking to the handy cam constantly that i'm feeling this i'm feeling this i'm feeling that i feel oh. so you you need to be you need to sort of you know be comfortable with this this dead thing looking at you which is not giving you any reaction hmm. because oh. what happens in theater you are so used to the reaction you're so used to people clapping or laughing or not doing anything because even that is a reaction right but yeah. it's such yeah. a such a dead medium you need to just just get in tune with that actually and then you will slow, sort of you know get over the fact that there is a camera which is watching you right and and just do that yeah and just forget that there is a camera 
just forget right. it just forget just look into the camera as if you were looking into uh, someone's eyes right and then once you record that do you watch it and analyze it or what do you do no. of that recording no don't don't analyze it do not analyze it actually but do watch it and see what you're doing or don't watch it don't even watch it okay. erase it it's a rubbish footage but it's, it's just to make you feel comfortable that's okay. it it's only for you to make uh, yourself comfortable right that's really interesting i'll definitely try it i'll make the most of the lockdown now <laughs> so i think we will end it with you singing maybe because i don't want it to abruptly end and we do have few requests for you to sing so uh, okay. one person commented in the uh, commented in the post which i put up in the uh, on the instagram he requested you to sing uh, garaj baraj by jagjit singh ji and uh, there is another request i got it from a college junior again he says that he saw you singing uh, pra and he still hung on to it till now and he also requests you to uh, put it somewhere online and he wants you to sing thare bina mohe wala phrase <laughs> okay pra 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 thare bina ma थारे बिना लागे नहीं मारा जी अरे ओ थारे बिना लागे नहीं मारा जी अरे नैना ने थारी कैसा जादू किया रे नैना ने थारी कैसा जादू किया रे पिया रे पिया रे पिया रे पिया रे थारे बिना लागे नहीं जगजीत सिंह जी विच आज गरज बरस गरज बरस प्यासे धरती को फिर पानी दे मौला गरज बरस प्यासी धरती को फिर पानी दे मौला आ बच्चों को बानी चिड़ियों को चिड़ियों को दानी बच्चों को गुर गुर गुरबानी दे माला गरज बरस प्यासे धरती को मबनी सनी सनी भगर समझ लेता है ठीक है थैंक यू थैंक यू नमन ओके सो वी विल we will wrap it up i think thank you so much namit that means a lot and we will definitely organize a second session a lot of people Hi, in the yeah. comments also said yeah yeah i think because and, there were a lot of questions which which i think we missed and i really really want to reach out to people we really want to reach out to actors and young actors and and uh, yeah take in the questions and however i can help them i'm i, I would love yeah. to be there for them yeah wow well, no because i i myself wrote few questions which i had and i am not been able to ask everything but uh, no problem probably we'll meet sometime soon after all of this gets over and uh, would love to work For with sure. you also yeah same here man any parting away words from your side and then we'll wrap it up have have faith have faith okay have faith these two words have faith that's it okay thank you that's wonderful thank you namit kaisa laga मज़ा आया ना मैंने बोला था मज़ा आने वाला है और कुछ आंसर्स तो ज़रूर मिले होंगे आपको स्टेज वर्सेस स्क्रीन के आपके अपने डाउट्स के बारे में प्लीज़ लेट अस नो इन द कमेंट्स बिलो आपको क्या अच्छा लगा क्या हेल्प हुई कुछ अगर ना अच्छा लगा हो तो वो भी बता दो अगर कुछ ऐसे क्वेश्चंस हैं आपके जो हम आंसर नहीं कर पाए इस कॉन्वर्जेशन में तो वो भी बता दो बिकॉज वी आर प्लानिंग अ लॉड ऑफ थिंग्स टू डू so please help us in that journey and let us know whatever you felt about this conversation in the comments below 
and see you in the next episode of dialogue very soon Thank you.